Okay, folks, uh, give this one a shot by hitting the pause button and then we'll do it together. All right, I hope you tried it on your own. Uh, basically, with these work problems, you always have to remember this. 1 over R plus 1 over S equals 1 over T. So, for example, let's say Ray takes five days to do, you know, paint a wall. And then let's say Sam takes uh, 10 days to paint a wall. Okay, how long would it take them to paint a wall together? It would be 1 over 5 plus 1 over 10 equals 1 over T. Just imagine the T is the time, and this is one person, this is two the second person, if there's a third person, let's say like Alex takes two days, for example, then we would add him. If it says, you know, whatever, Mark takes 15 days, we could add him. So we could go on forever that way. Um, and then the inverse of all of this, okay, meaning like one over five plus one over 10 equals one over T. Uh, and then when we solve for T, we're gonna figure out how long it would take these two guys to do it together. So one over five plus one over 10, that's like uh, two over 10 plus one over 10 equals 1 over t, so 3 over 10 equals 1 over t. Cross multiply, 3t equals 10, 10 equals 10, I'm sorry, t equals 10 thirds, meaning uh, together those guys would take 10 thirds days or 3 and 1 third days to, uh, to do the project. Uh, now, with that kind of uh, concept in mind, uh, we could do this problem that we had. All right, so now, when it says seven workers can build seven cars in seven days, you have to have some sort of unit. The way I look at it, okay, so seven workers, okay, seven cars, and seven days. I figure, okay, a day is one is a unit, and one car is a unit. So the, the bottom line is, if they take seven days to build seven cars, then obviously it's, you know, one car in one day is what all seven workers are doing. Uh, one car in one day. So that equation, the one over R plus one over S equals one over T, uh, we have seven workers and they're all equal. So we can call them all one over X. Uh, and I'm gonna do it the long way just so you know how it's done. Okay, we have seven of them. Uh, and then all of that, okay, so how long does it take them to build one car? All right, this is where we put the T down there. It takes one day. So what we put down there is one seven one over x is equals one over one uh, and then so that's seven over x equals one over one uh, obviously then you know we get if we cross multiply we get seven equals x it takes one worker seven days if he or she is doing it alone it's going to take him seven days to do the project so now comes the call of the question okay which is how, how long would it take five workers to build five cars? So again, we could do this one over R plus one over S equals one over T, okay? But we have five workers, but we know each of them takes seven days. So because we have five workers and we know each of them takes seven days, let's erase this and do that. We have five workers, each of them takes seven days. So one over seven, but we have five of them. And let's figure out how long it takes them to do one car. Okay, so we have five, one over seven, so that's five sevens equals one over x. And we cross multiply, we get five x equals seven, then we get x equals seven fifths. So it takes them seven fifths days to do one car, right? But we want five cars, right? So it takes seven fifths days to do one car. Uh, there's a few ways to do this, but if you, if you th thought of it as a ratio, it takes seven fifth days, right, to do one car, right? So if they want to do five cars, right, and then you could call X days. Uh, then you can cross multiply seven fifths times five, right, the fives cancel. So seven fifths times five is seven, and that equals X. That's the answer. It's gonna take those five workers seven days to do five cars. All right, keep up uh, the great work. Uh, do this one right here if you wanna keep uh, uh, improving on these work problems, all right? It's, it's great uh, practice. Make sure you do these if you wanna improve.